mommy, I'm going to play. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little snowflake out of only rubber bands and a crochet hook, or you can use the hook that came with your loom set. And I don't have a real loom. I only have this from the, um, whatever it's called, Aqua Loom, Alpha Loom, yeah, Alpha Loom. So anyways, um, for the snowflake in total, you will need 19 rubber bands. So I'll be right back once I set up my workspace. Okay, so once you set up your workspace, it should look something like this. Like this right here. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing you want to do is, okay, we are going to start with the outside color. So I'm going to do pattern. I'm gonna do starting with blue, blue, yellow, um, white, blue, yellow, white, blue, white, blue, white, and then blue. And then we're going to put the chart. Well, the thing, like, to make it. So, what you want to do is take your first rubber band, wrap it around three times, and then take the other two in your pile, put them on your finger, take it, and then put this, like, put it onto this. Now you want to put this on here again. Now, you want to keep on doing that, and now I'm going to do the next color. Then you would do this, and then 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 that, and then I would show you how to put the charm on. So I'm going to show you again, and then I'll be right back. I'm sorry. So, um, where'd my, okay, here, here it is. Okay, now take this, pinch it, put it on. Another really easy way is that you do it, the stuff on here, and then since this is such small space, what you do is you put it onto here. That is also a very easy method. But I'm not going to do it since I have a crochet thingy and it's just long enough to do it. So now you do blue again. Wrap it around three times. Take your other two. Put it up. And then, yeah. So you want to continue this until all of your groups are used up. So I'll be right back once I do it. Yay. Okay, guys. So before we finish the charm, um, before we finish it, um, I got this off of Made by Mommy. And I got a bunch of other things off her, like these really cute bananas. Um um other stuff too um she teach me how to use the on um, the alpha loom and yeah um so shout out to her and go watch her videos um she has a lot of loom stuff um i even made a pokeball earlier today but this i did not get off of her i think i'm not sure but this was really fun to make. I think I got it off of like Ladybug Crafts or something. But also shout out to her because she has awesome loom band stuff too. So anyways, let's finish the charm. So for the charm part, this part, um, I am going to be using a clear rubber band. And guys, if you're wondering, uh, like how much loom bands I have. I have a whole bag of them. Yeah. 
I have more, but anyways, you just want to take your loom band, put it on here, and then slide all of these onto there. So, for example, like this. And then move that. So, yeah, like that. I also got this cool little bow off of Emily Hill, so go check her out. So I'll be right back once I get all of these on to my rubber band. Guys, um, I did not get all of them on, but my cat is here. Cheetah's here. She wants to say hi. Cheetah, say hi. That's her way of saying hi. Okay guys, here's my cat once again. So anyways, once you have it, you want to take the other rubber band and get it back on here. And then you want to create a slip knot by just taking this rubber band and putting it through that one. And then pull it a little tight. And then you have your little charm. And I actually got this uh, off of Made by Mommy, if I didn't mention. Um, so yeah, guys, subscribe, like, hit that subscribe button as it says right here. So yeah, bye guys.